And we're recording Bibbling. Welcome back to Bibbling. Yes, Bibbling. Bibbling uh, Genesis uh, 49. We're here. This is the penultimate episode of the first series of Bibbling. Penultimate. Great word. Great word. Hasn't been used yet in the Bible, but Not yet. we're fucking close, in other words. <laughs> like We are fucking close. Yeah, obviously everyone who's been uh, keeping up to date with the Biblin episodes, we're, whatever this is, 11 episodes into a drunk record. Um, yeah, I'm It's been I'm hardcore, drunk. it's been I'm, hardcore, yeah. I'm drunk now, I genuinely am, and the thought of, of reading two more episodes is pretty painful, really, I think, is the uh, surmises. <laughs> Surmises. Hmm. <laughs> not, not, not some. Not Sounds ISIS like the again. right way to. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Always back to ISIS with you, isn't it, Joe? <laughs> some, some, summation. Some, that sounds like it could be a correct way of saying it, though. Surmises. I surmise. I surmise. I It's not quite right, is it? It sounds like it could be right, but right. it's not. It's not. It's not. Uh, so we're on episode forty-nine. We are. Um, I just poured myself another brandy. I've still got a beer that I'm sipping upon um, in the background. But yeah, I poured myself another brandy. I thought, you know, we're only going to be doing a drunk record. Well, probably a few more times, actually. This has been good fun, and I think we'll do it again. But It's a good way of doing it, to be fair. We'll maybe, not 12, no. maybe not 12. Maybe not 12. Too many. <laughs> <laughs> it's about four too many, in it? We hit our peak like three episodes back, I think. I felt like we found a good pace then, uh, like episode whatever the fuck that was. Yeah, like, yeah. A few the viewers ago. will be able to tell us. They'll be like, oh yeah, episode 45 is a great episode. Like, that was good, and then it dipped like, massively <laughs> towards the end. But we, haven't even, we haven't even started reading 49 yet, and uh, I'm pretty sure it's going to be difficult, like the actual reading element of it. Um, but yeah, we haven't got long to go. Uh, 49 and 50 look pretty short. I've not skipped on too much, but I can see that they look short-ish. So let's just let's just crack on, and that we're so close to the end. Sounds good. Here we go, dude. All right, do you want to um, start, Shlaim? It's me, I think. Yeah, it's me. You did a you did a big big finish at the end. You spunked you all over then, the. I did. I presented pod. my seed to the uh, to King James himself. <laughs> so this is the 1611 King James edition of the Holy Bible. This is the First Testament. This is, what about the PDF? Yeah, yeah, no, I'm getting there. Chill out, lad. <laughs> this is also King James Bible dot PDF. <laughs> this is uh, uh, Genesis, uh, the first book of Moses. Genesis. <laughs> this is Genesis 49, and this is one. And Jacob called unto his sons and said, "Gather yourselves together, that I may tell you that which shall befall you in the last days." Genesis 49 two. gather yourselves together and hear ye sons of Jacob and hearken unto Israel your father Genesis 49 don't go behind the lines Sorry, don't do it there. don't look behind the curtains yeah cat stopped doing the zoomies and started playing with the toy and it really freaked me out because it's it's a weird toy uh, yeah, it's not a visual podcast. I thought I was joking. It's like a, it's like a human, a human fist. Uh, sort of like a human fist in that it's not at all. And here's what I'll, I'll explain what it is. It's, <laughs> it's like a, it's like a mouse, but it's got a circular bottom, and you put dreamies in it. Oh. So that the cat can get the dreamies out, but just from a little hole. So you put like ten dreamies in, and they like bat it about and shit. Um, which well, they've, isn't, got, they've got to like rim the mouse to get to it. I wouldn't use that word, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, which we've got wooden floors in this house as well, which is you know it's nice, white privilege and everything, but it's not indicative <laughs> to a podcast. <laughs> I've never heard laminate floors to be attributed so closely to white privilege, but please go on. Not laminate, not laminate. You know, actual wood. Oh, oh, wood. excuse me, oh, excuse me. Okay, yeah, that's that um, sounds more on the money. But yeah, no, that toy is very loud on the wood floor. <laughs> I've literally lost the plot. I just got completely distracted by the uh, cat toy there, and have lost my mind. 
on record. So let's so you've go. got you've got like so you've got wooden floors, you've got a roaring hearth right there. Like <laughs> a is roaring that, hearth. <laughs> is that a stone mantelpiece I see in the in the corner? <laughs> uh, I doubt it. Uh, <laughs> it's foam. <laughs> yeah, faux. It's faux uh faux stone. <laughs> Um, white privilege, you know. <laughs> yeah, it's like fucking lower class white privilege, though, isn't it? So everything's like, it's not actually real Knock wood. Off. It's not yeah. real wood floors or anything. It's like, you know. Knock off wood. Fake wood. What is fake wood? MDF, I guess. MDF <laughs> um, is fake wood. <laughs> I, is, I suppose that's real wood, but chipped. <laughs> We're definitely going off tangent. <laughs> Uh, um, just wait for our woodworking podcast. It's on its way. It's yeah, it's coming. Oh, see, every time I go to start again, <laughs> <laughs> there's the uh, there's the toy. Um, I'm going to take a picture of the toy and we'll post it on Twitter. Oh yeah, but probably the not. Twitter fans will love that. Probably not. All four when, of them. Probably not when we're uh, releasing this episode. I'll probably do it the week that, like this week, that we've recorded them. Completely out of context. Completely I like out of it. context and see what's up. And then uh, any smart fans will refer back once the episode. <laughs> any smart fans on their smartphones, am I right? Any smart fans out there, give us a shout on your smartphone or pigeon. Um, I've literally lost it, mate. I've lost the fucking will to Did we even start? As well as my mind. Did we even start or not? I've definitely said some of, some of it. I think I said the first one. Yeah, I did. Yeah, and Jacob's done his own coming. So, last days. Yeah, I said that. I don't know if I've done the next one, but I'll go for it because I'm not sure. Genesis 49 2. Gather yourselves together and hear, ye sons of Jacob, and hearken unto Israel your father. Genesis 49 3. Reuben, thou art my firstborn, my might, and the beginning of my strength, the excellency of dignity, and the excellency of power. What a fucking sentence. Genesis 49.4 wow. Unstable as water, thou shalt not excel, because thou wentest up to my father's bed, then defiledest thou, it went up to my couch. So, did some weird shit with his dad, whoever this is. I can't have... He was defiledest. <laughs> defiledest. <laughs> oh God, that's a great <laughs> word for that. Genesis 49.5 Simeon and Levi are brethren. Instruments of cruelty are in their habitations. Genesis 49.6 O oh my soul, come not thou into their secret unto their assembly, mine honour. Be not thou united, for in their anger they slew a man, and in their self-will they digged down a wall. <laughs> Genesis 49.7 As you do. <laughs> Cursed be their anger. For Cursed it, be. For it was fierce and their wrath, for it was cruel. I will divide them in Jacob and scatter them in Israel. Genesis 49 8. Judah, thou art he, whom thy brethren shall praise. Thy hand shall be in the neck of thine enemies. Thy father's children shall, <laughs> shall bow down before thee. <laughs> Oh, you didn't even get a card for that. That was such a good save. <laughs> Genesis 49.9. Judah is a lion's whelp from thy prey. My son, thou art gone up. He scrolling, swooped scrolling, down. Scrolling. <laughs> he swooped down. He couched as a lion and as an old lion. Who shall rouse him up? Genesis 49.10. The scepter shall not depart from Judah, nor a lawgiver before... From nah, I fucked it. Genesis forty nine ten. The scepter shall not depart from Judah, nor a lawgiver from between his feet until Shiloh come, and unto him shall the gathering of the people be. Whew. Genesis forty nine eleven. Binding his foal unto the vine, and his ass's colt unto the choice vine, he washed his garments in wine, and his clothes in the blood of grapes. Genesis 49.12 His eyes shall be red with wine, his teeth white with milk. Genesis 49.13 
Zebulun shall dwell at the haven of the sea, and he shall be for a haven of ships, and his border shall be unto Zidon. Genesis 49.14 Issachar is a strong ass couching down between two burdens. Genesis 49.15 And he saw that rest was good, and the land that it was pleasant, and bowed his shoulder to bear, and became a servant unto tribute. Genesis 49.16 Dan shall judge his people. As one of the tribes of Israel, Genesis 49-17, Dan shall be a serpent by the way, an adder in the path, that biteth the horse's heels. Ah, bollocks, horse heels. <laughs> Genesis 49-17, Dan shall be a serpent by the way, an adder in the path, that biteth the horse heels, so that his rider shall fall backward. Genesis 49-18, I have waited for thy salvation, O Lord. Genesis forty nine nineteen Gad a troop shall overcome him, but he shall overcome at the last Genesis forty nine twenty Out of the Asher his bread shall be fat, and he shall yield royal dainties Dainty little bugger <laughs> Dainty little bread slice <laughs> Before we've uh, started recording this, did you know that Dan was a biblical name? Because it sounds quite out of place, doesn't it? Like, mm. like they're all like full Daniel. names: Joseph, Jacob, all this stuff. You'd imagine <laughs> Daniel was there, but Dan. Yeah, Dan. Seems, the abbreviation of Daniel. I. It seems quite. Mm, um, quite maybe not Dan. Blunt I feel like Daniel. Yes, because if I'd have pieced it apart, Nathaniel, Eel feels very biblical. You know, Daniel. Oh, you're using etymology. Yeah, I'd like follow it through. You know. Nice. I like it. Yeah, Dan. Just it. Just you. You know. You'd imagine the full name, but Dan is uh, shocking. What about Job when though? Got... Like Job and. Um, oh, I mean, there's some mental names. Adam and like, there's some <laughs> short ones in there. Yeah. Oh, okay, you're going short. <laughs> <laughs> there are some bonkers names in there. Um. What the fuck are we doing? We're reading this, aren't we? We're reading um, forty nine. 49... 21. 21. Wicked. <laughs> Genesis. Done the whole problem, the old problem where I just keep scrolling up and down. Ah, yeah. And uh, lose my place. But we're here. Genesis 49, 21. Naphtali is a hind let loose. He giveth goodly words. <laughs> that is the start of a poem, I reckon. You should like... Naphtali is a hind let loose. He giveth goodly words, and then just expand on that. That can go into anything. Yeah, into anything. <laughs> that's great. You've already got your like main character, Naphtali, right there. Yep, and he is a hind let loose. He is a hind let loose, and, and he, he giveth he goodly giveth words. God goodly words, yeah. <laughs> so he's he likes to party, but he's always you know it's positive positive words, you know, goodly words. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to start a poetry. Jam based on the Bible. <laughs> Genesis forty. I gotta say, I'm not gonna come. <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't go to that. <laughs> I wouldn't go to that. Genesis forty nine twenty two. Joseph is a fruitful bowl. Buff? What's that word? Buff. Buff. B o u g h. Buff. 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 Yeah. I've never known with that. Buff. I think it is buff. Because it's like rough. Buffs. Is you like it the u is pronounced but then yeah it's weird with with o u g h it's, it it changes how it's pronounced isn't it i'm going to go with buff, buff I, think right. I think genesis 49:22 joseph is a fruitful buff even a fruitful buff by a well whose branches run over a wall <laughs> oh i'm so sorry i didn't know that i had to i thought that i i had to create the poetry but i should have just you know trusted king james and he will deliver the poetry <laughs> Genesis, you know he will. Genesis 49, 23. The archers have sorely grieved him and shot at him and hated him. Genesis 49, 24. But his bow abode in strength and the arms of his hands were made strong by the hands of the mighty God of Jacob. From thence is the shepherd, the stone of Israel. Genesis 49, 25. Even by the God of thy father who shall help thee and by the almighty who shall bless thee with blessings of heavens above. 
blessings of the deep that lieth under, blessings of the breasts and of the womb. Genesis 49, 26. The blessings of thy, th- thy father... Genesis 49, 26. The blessings of thy father have prevailed above the blessings of my progenitors unto the utmost bound of the everlasting hills. They shall be on the head of Joseph and on the crown of the head of him that was separate from his brethren. Progenitors? That's right. Progenitors? Yeah, progenitors. Do you know that word? Yeah. Yeah, progenitors. Oh, cool. Yeah, just... uh, Say say the word again to explain. Yeah, pro- progenitors, you know? <laughs> yeah, okay, I get it now. <laughs> you just needed to say it three times. <laughs> it's Genesis, like uh, no, people it's who, who... Yeah, yeah, it doesn't matter. <laughs> Genesis forty nine twenty seven. Benjamin shall raven as a wolf. In the morning he shall devour the prey, and at the night he shall divide the spoil. Genesis forty nine twenty eight. And these are the twelve tribes of Israel, and this is it that their father spake unto them and blessed them. Everyone according to this blessing, he... Blessed them. His blessing. <laughs> oh, fuck. I knew I'd fucked up somewhere there, but I wasn't sure where. Genesis forty nine twenty eight. All these are the 12 tribes of Israel, and this is it. Their father's... Bollocks to it. Genesis forty nine twenty eight. All these are the 12 tribes of Israel, and this is it, that their father spake unto them and blessed them. Everyone... According to his blessing, he blessed them. Genesis forty nine twenty nine, and he charged them, and he said unto them, "I am to be and gathered." S- no, 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 sorry, sorry, sorry. And said oh. unto them, not he said unto them, just and said unto them. It's just difficult, isn't it? Like when you get towards the end of your little block, it's just, you <laughs> You're just like flying. <laughs> You're like here we go. <laughs> not gonna have to speak much more. <laughs> Genesis uh, forty nine twenty nine, and he charged them and said unto them. I am to be gathered unto my people. Bury me with my fathers in the cave that is the field of Ephron, the Hittite. Genesis 49.30 In the cave that is in the field of Mashpelah, which is before Mamre, in the land of Canaan, which Abraham bought in the field of Ephron, the Hittite. Sorry, he's bought with the field oh, of Ephron. Jesus Hittiti. wept on a mountain with what's in his shoes. I, I don't know anything about that. Genesis 49. It's later on in the book. It's on the next. It's in the later. Um, it's one of the later books. It's probably in the next chapter. Be like, <laughs> and then Jesus. <laughs> next. <laughs> oh, God. Wept on a mountain with what's its in issues. Genesis 49.30. In the cave that is in the field of Machpelah, which is before Mamre, in the land of Canaan, which Abraham bought with the field of Ephron, the Hittite, for a possession of burying place. Of a burying place. Oh, no. (laughs) Ah. Ah. I can't. I can't do it. I'm going to do it now, but I don't want to. Genesis 49.30 In the cave that is in the field of Machpelah, which is before Mamre, in the land of Canaan, which Abraham bought in the field of Ephron the Hittite for a possession of a burying place. Fuck you, King James. (laughs) Absolutely correct. Well done. Fucking King James is such a twat. (laughs) You know it had to be said word for word. There's no two ways by it. There's a reason that there's all these wordy words. Um, It wouldn't be complete without them. We'll figure out the reason at some point. It will come to us. As well. In a dream, say. Seven ears eating seven fucking ears. Ain't I right? dreamed a dream of time <laughs> gone by. <laughs> <laughs> oh, apparently that, that'd be a great way to end the episode, but unfortunately we've got, uh, <laughs> we've got, we've got more, more to go. <laughs> <laughs> Genesis forty nine thirty one. There they buried Abraham and Sarah, his wife, there they buried Isaac and Rebecca, his wife, and there I buried Leah. Genesis. King, King James is about again. <laughs> he is. He fucking is. Like he He's... buried all the pe- all the people from past chapters. Like you remember those people? Those were from people back in the day. We talked about them yeah. before any of this. Yeah, yeah, they've been about. Like Jacob's been there for fucking chapters and chapters and chapters, hasn't he? Yeah, and Abraham. Remember after his deed poll operation, and it finally yeah. went through, and like, <laughs> you know, and <laughs> he had to be referred to as a she from then on. Like he was <laughs> deed poll like, operation. <laughs> <laughs> it's a fucking great turn of phrase. Um, 
Yeah, we might get shot down for that joke, though. It was worth it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Genesis 49, 32. The purchase of the field and the cave that is therein was from the children of Heth. Genesis forty nine thirty three, and when Jacob had made an end of the commandings of his sons, oh no, no, no. commanding, <laughs> commanding his sons, his sons, yeah, yeah. Genesis forty nine thirty three, <laughs> and when Jacob had made an end of commanding his sons, he gathered up his feet into the bed and yielded up the ghost and was gathered unto his people. Scrolling. <gasps> Oh, shocker. That's the end of the chapter. Oh, shit. Oh, my God. We haven't got that long left at all. He put all of his feet in the bed, and then he was done. Yes. I think nice one, Jacob. On that last sentence, like this is why we stumble so much, because the correct thing was he gathered up his feet into the bed. Like, that is not a sentence that people have ever said oh surely he gathered up all of his feet and put them into the bed like surely you just he just went to bed didn't he like yeah. I don't know just he picked his feet up put sake. them in the bed and then fell asleep <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> he made sure he had all of his feet in the bed before he slept <laughs> why why um cool well yeah we should anyway i know we're, we're both excited here because this is an exciting moment because this is the final sign off before the final sign off this is the penultimate end penultimate. of the fucking episode got to so, use that word again season. is there anything you, uh, yeah of the season is there anything that you want to uh synopsize upon and uh, summar- summarize the lies s- summarize <laughs> <laughs> i didn't know you spoke french <laughs> <laughs> only when it's bibbling time <laughs> Um, uh, no, not at all, really. To be honest, lad, um, I'm quite, I'm quite glad that a hititi's come back. That's quite a good word. That's quite fun. It was good to see the hititi's back. To be fair, yeah. That's good. I'm what? still pretty sure we pronounced that wrong, but that's fine. No, it's the hititi's. It's a more it's fun. Uh, it's the most fun pronunciation. We're making it. We're making them more accessible to a 21st century audience. Exactly. Um, because the 21st century loves titties. Loves hit titties <laughs> and hit titties <laughs> even more than that. Um, no, have you got any synopsis sizes? Is is is? Oh, uh, it's difficult to synopsis on something you don't have any fucking understanding for. I, I just yeah. we can't, can we? Until um, until people send us the abridged versions, we just don't know. So exactly. And it's the problem just words is on a page at this point. Like the problem it was is kind of like a. It was almost like a naming episode, but it went a bit further. Yeah. What is the problem, Joe? Well, the problem is that um, we asked for abridged versions to be sent in to us about five records ago. We did. But that was, you know, in recording time, that was like three hours ago, maybe. So Yeah, we're still waiting, guys. We've not actually released any of the episodes that we've asked for the abridgments to be in to be sent in so obviously we haven't been sent them yet so this has been weeks and weeks and weeks since we've asked for them and people have sent them in and now here we are three weeks later saying we don't have a fucking clue because no one's sent in the abridged versions but people have by now you know it's weird how time works we're recording all of these now and then we're going to release them weekly at some point in the future Mm -hmm. (laughs) that's fine (laughs) Um, I've pretty much lost my fucking mind and we've still got another episode to record but it's the final episode next final thank episode. you very much for listening ladies and gentlemen we're yep. so close now I hope you'll join us next week in Bibbling part 50 yes the fucking season finale see you All later right. it will be a finale I tell you <laughs> <laughs>